It's Sunday, middle of the day. I've just edited this week's Real Country File, which is out at four o'clock. So if you've not seen it already, go and check it out. I'll put a link below this video. Anyway, we've got some blue skies. It was supposed to be raining today, so no game fur for me. But I don't think I've got any fur fox and favourite clothing to wear. I have got a Holland Cooper coat though. But look, you can wear other stuff for the game fur, but that seems to be the trend this year. Anyway, I'm gonna get something to eat, and then we're gonna go and cut some oilseed rape so we can get some blocks finished off near the yard, and then maybe get back into wheat. Ready for drilling oilseed rape after that. New filters arrived for the chipper. Rob is just trying to get it working properly now. Hand me in it, it's a bit damp so on the fast track. Just gonna back up. Gonna shake some straw out. I thought it might just need rolling over, but it's quite wet in the middle of the row, so I'm gonna shake it out and then hopefully it'll row up later and bail because it's a feel that we want to drill this week with oil seed rate and it's catchy weather again tomorrow till Wednesday, so we'll try and get it shook out and bailed today. So I'm just gonna hitch onto the rake now. Got the tether on now, just shaking out this straw, put it into a nice wide row. That way it'll dry out a bit quicker and then we can get it bailed up. We're probably going to bale it in little bales and then that way then we've got it ready for making the walls for the new building with. It's uh, doing a nice job. It's nearly, if you drive in the right place, it nearly splits it into two rows actually. Which I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but get a lot of sun and wind to it and then hopefully it might bale this afternoon and then we can drill it with rape this week. Oh, well, you can see on the video, but probably not, maybe. No, you can't really. The seat in the fast track twists. So I'm now just currently got it twisted. Get my feet stretched out. Should be trouble. James here with his pressure test and his flow meter. Trying to work out what's going on. Finished heading that straw out, you might have seen on the live video. Anyway, just gonna fill it with diesel now, find someone to move my head at, then they're gonna go and cut some oilseed rape. I hate doing this, I'm about to back into the oilseed rape. So when the header comes in, James is just on his way for it now. He'll pull in front of me and I'll just scoop it on. He's just escorted the combine and gone back for the header. And because I've flattened it, it's obviously completely shed this bit now. And anyway, we'll cut this now. Bottom bit was a bit green the other week. Hopefully it'll be okay now. This is the field of flight. There he is. Hopefully he's not got too far wide because the other trailer used to have to go quite wide. Now he's in. Not a problem. It's good James. He didn't go to school the last year of school. It's just worked for me. Sadly he keeps going off doing digger jobs and won't work full time. More money building KFCs. Right, that'll do. I'll drop the pins out and drop bucket on. Just had something in the hedge jam the side now. This is where someone's driven through it. So completely flat and also knocked all the seeds out. What a pain. You see where they've gone over there. Yeah, there it is there. Just a track right through. Width of a car. It's hard to see for the dust, but this is where they've gone in a big loop around there and then driven back down there where they came from, diagonal across the field. There's Charlotte with the fast track. James has gone shopping. Should probably fit most of this field on that trailer. I think it's a nine acre field, an 18 ton trailer. So I don't think we're gonna fill it, to be honest. It'd be nice if it did and it wouldn't fit on, but I'm sure it'll all fit on one load. A wrapping just on that slate over there, hopefully, it'll clear itself. Last time it did that, it blocked up. I'm showing you how straight the GPS is, just trying to turn in without hitting that trailer. Charlotte's part in the way. <laughs> another field done, off to another now. Just gonna make sure that the header's not gonna fall off the trailer. So just have to slide the pins in. So slide that across there we go and then another one here 
There we go. That will do. Off we go. Rob is on his way with a Merlot to move the head out, and then James, who's been helping him fix his Maxim and fix the chipper, which they fixed now. It was um, a charge pressure low because they've been messing with a valve because the valve had gone. Anyway, they had to learn German to fix it. He's coming up with a Corvus to escort us, and then we'll swap fails nearer to the yard the next one. Perfect timing. Signs over there. Rob's just connected the header on. There's the escort vehicle, isn't it? Oh, it's a big reflection of the glass, isn't it? It's cool. Just need some lights for it. There you go, you can see a little bit more clearly now. It's like Chester's come to cart as well now. That's better, I've just cleaned the windows. You see what I've not done. Yesterday's video got a little bit long, so this is what I saw yesterday for the summer barley update. Just going to have a quick look at the summer barley for the woods. This straw's nicely getting wet, which is a shame. Hopefully, get that baled next week. Plenty of pigeons here, but they can eat as much as they want now. And they're just reading really the grass seed in the stubbles. Quick summer barley ups update. Looks absolutely fantastic, and if you see in there, if you focus this, that is the start of a seed head. So it won't be long before we get whiskers booting out the top of it, and then it starts feeding the seeds. It's had no fungicide, no herbicide, no insecticide, just a little tiny bit of fertilizer. Only slight issue is. Because of a bit of a mix up, Andrew's sown some buckwheat in with it at the same time, which is this here. So I don't want that swamping it out. So we might have to go through with something just to knock out the little bits of buckwheat that's growing. But yeah, it looks it looks amazing. Real nice colour as well. Looks proper healthy. So anyone want to take a guess at the harvest date now? They've seen it growing. This is the field that we put the kite in. Remember the kite to scare the pigeons and it just basically blew away. And it, it was about that big because it had been totally munched off. Well, it's, uh, it's recovered well, really. The pigeons completely grazed it bare, the whole field, so it's quite an even ripening. It's just it obviously lost a lot of growing time because there wasn't many leaves on it. So yeah, a bit of a, a, bit of a pain, really. I'd be interested to see what it would yield without the pigeons eating it. But I think, I think the, the count now is up to about 13,000 that they've, uh, they've bagged the shooters, which is pretty decent, to be fair. Hopefully, like I say, make growing oil seed rape a little bit easier this year. Looks like Charlotte's back and hopefully she's got food because I'm starving. Well, who's here? Chester and Charlotte with some food. Sporting a very nice top. Just trying to bite my phone. So I'm happy to be out of the tractor. Good sniff. Hey, don't forget to check his channel out. Well, I've just jumped off to get a sandwich. I'm going to do the birthday bumper live. I'm not going to write it down because I'm not going to mark a pen. And I tried in the dust and it wasn't that good, so I'm going to read them off Charlotte's phone. Anyway, I missed off Finley yesterday, so happy birthday, Finley. But yeah, so I read them off this list every day, but when there's a lot, it's hard to do. So a happy birthday to Ellie in Australia. She's four. John Donaldson, A Bird, please say happy birthday. Uh, Half Pike Henry, happy birthday. Georgina. Sorry, no, Georgina says happy birthday to Thomas Shufflebottom. David Woods, happy birthday. Uh, Toby Larkworthy, happy birthday. Derek is 50, happy birthday to him. Saskia Fletcher is 18, happy birthday there. And uh, Damien Jennings, might have had him yesterday, I'm not really sure, but yeah, uh, happy birthday to everyone who's on this, and I've just mentioned, and anyone else whose birthday is. Oh, look at that, what a great picture. Anyway, thanks for watching. That is it for today. See you all tomorrow.